Hello friends, welcome back. Today we'll discuss about hybridization. A hybridization in plant. Now what is hybridization? It's a crossing or mating of two plants of dissimilar genotype. It's a crossing or mating of two plants of dissimilar genotypes. In the plants, the crossing is done by transferring the pollens uh, from the anthra of one plant, it is transferred to the stigma or the female genotype of another plant. So one becomes the male parent, another becomes the female parent. This crossing between two dissimilar genotype is called hybridization. This process is essentially done to prevent self-pollination among the plants. Now here you see the white flower is crossed with purple flower. The first progeny which is which we receive is called F1 hybrids. That means the F1 hybrid is the uh, result of cross between the two dissimilar genotype the first progeny is called F1 hybrid now the progeny which we received from the hybrids or F1 is intercrossed intermated uh, between each other to create another progeny the next progeny which is called as segregating generation the subsequent generation is called segregating generation. Now, what are the main objectives of hybridization or creating hybrids? One of the main objective is creating genetic variations. To create uh, genetic variation or to assemble certain required characters in certain progeny, which is uh, which which would help uh, in increasing the say yield or some desired character to be obtained in the next progeny. That's why to create genetic variation, we do hybridization. Second is the transfer of desired characters. The two parents may be having different characters. When they are combined together, the third generation, the F1 generation, is having a new character set. To obtain this type of desired character combination, we do hybridization. Now the degree of variation or degree of variation in the cross depends upon the heterogeneous genes they have. If this the, the genes in the uh, parents or, or different heterogeneous series, then the probability of variation is very high in the progeny. Like if the both the parents are closely related, then the probability of uh, genetic variation is very less. And other way, if they are not closely related, they are distant related, then the probability of number of gene or different characters coming uh, in varied manner is a probability is now we can divide the objectives of uh, hybridization into two types two purposes you can say first is combination breeding second is transgressive transgressive breeding the main aim of combination breeding is uh, to transfer one or more characters into a single variety a certain plant may be having certain desirable character, one or two desirable characters which we have to transfer in certain um, certain uh, progeny, then we have to do combination breeding. The main purpose is to increase the number of tillers, for example, like to create a disease resistant plant, so certain one of the parents must be having some disease resistance genes which is transferred to the progeny and it becomes disease resistance. 
number of grains per spike to be increased so these are the different characters which we which we desire which is the outcome of combination breeding not necessarily the yield may be increasing uh, most probably most of the time the yield is not affected or it is less than both the parents the parents individually on other hand the second type of transgressive breeding the main aim is to create a superior character or superior yield by crossing the two different parents this uh, transgressive segregation is a production of plant in which in f2 generation in f2 generation which are much more superior than their parent generations they may be superior than one of the single parent or both the parents in combination both the parents to achieve the second type of objective transgressive breeding or transgressive segregation we have to keep certain thing in mind like the compatibility of parents second thing i have to keep in mind the diverse genetic makeup this will help us to combine two different type of genetic setup into one particular hybrid these are two important factor which we have to keep in mind while uh, achieving the second objective of transgressive breeding so these are the basics of certain brief of uh, hybridization and the objectives of hybridization in the next session we will discuss more about the types of uh, uh, hybridization and how to achieve uh, different hybridization processes